Hi, I'm Andy Parkin, Managing Director of the multi-award winning Speed Screed. I'm here today to talk to you about what is a bonded screed uh, and what that, uh, what that means. Uh, when a screed is described as bonded, uh, this means that it is connected, it is bonded directly to the substrate that it's been placed on. Uh, so that substrate needs to be sufficiently strong enough to be able to take that bond. So what type of substrate? What is a substrate? So generally a substrate will be the structural element of the floor. So we're not talking about the insulation that goes on top or the membranes. We, we're not able to uh, really bond to those items. When we're talking about the uh, structural substrates, we're talking about things like in situ concrete. So concrete, the, uh, the substrate that's been poured in situ. So the concrete trucks have arrived, poured into the area and you're left with structural concrete and you may be wanting to bond directly to that. Uh, the other systems that you're looking at are beam and block. Uh, so the, the blocks placed on the beams, that would be a, a structural element that you could uh, screed onto. Other systems would be precast concrete planks. So that's uh, planks that are uh, generally holocore planks are uh, manufactured at precast yards and then shipped into site and then placed into the into the structure. And then generally a screed is required on top of the planks to uh, give it a, you know that final leveling. One other thing that uh, you could class as a structural substrate that you might be bonding to is metal decking. So you can bond to the, you know, to the metal decking with your screed on top to give you the final leveling layer. So how does it actually bond? Now, now screed naturally by itself has a tendency to want to bond to good surfaces. So it may be that even if you didn't use any agents at all to bond, the, the screed would naturally bond in some places. And this is described as being semi-bonded. Uh, but if you're looking for a, a, a bondage, you need it to be bonded, then you're going to be using a bonding agent or, a, you know, you could call it as a, as a primer. Now, before you use this, you've got to be satisfied that, this, that the surface is able to take not only the the bonding agent but the screed as well so it doesn't need to be you know you've got to consider as it being a power floated concrete and it's very smooth and it's going to be very difficult to bond to uh, as it as it got latents on the surface and that could include uh, concrete you know has latents on the on the surface if it's those kind of scenarios and you need to bond then generally surface preparation is is actually required so the surface, the, the, the top couple of mil of the, of the matrix of the concrete would need to be uh, ground down to expose uh, the concrete and the capillaries to allow uh, bonding to take place. So the bonding agent allows it to form effectively a, a grip into the, into the concrete, which then the, the screed can go on top and there you have your, uh, the actual bond. So it's opening up the surface of the matrix by generally uh, grinding. It could be shot blasting. It depends what's on. Generally, you know, you could find you've got contaminants within the, uh, within the current substrate. So that might be, I don't know, you could be looking at a garage and cars have been in, oils, etc., have penetrated the surface. So even though the surface may may at first appearances seem as though it's it's quite clean, it could be into the capillaries of the of the concrete. So generally, the the, the top surface would need to be uh, prepared, ready to take the the bond. If it doesn't happen, there's a high probability of of debonding of the screed. So generally, when would we actually use uh, a bonded screed? Theoretically, you could use uh, a bonded screed at any thickness. Generally, you wouldn't need it at greater thicknesses, and the British standard doesn't really classify uh, screeds at 75, 85, 
as technically uh, bonded, although they are uh, actually bonded in practice. But you generally look at uh, thinner screeds. So if a screed needs to go down to its, its absolute minimum, then generally it will, it will need to be bonded. So you're looking at thinner screeds. Now that could be smoothing compounds that are going down from feather edge, or that could be uh, sand and cement screeds, which can go down to, uh, you know, the especially modified screeds can go down to, to 10 mil uh, sand and cement screeds. So in those applications, it needs to be bonded and it re the, the strength of the screed relies on the strength of the substrate. So it needs to be a good sound substrate that's able to uh, bond directly to. So uh, I hope that's been helpful. Uh, that's a bonded screed. If you've any further questions, then please get in touch and I'd be happy to answer, answer those questions. Thank you.